Go ahead and shoot it. Yeah, we'll come now at this time for those who are interested in learning more about Indian religious tradition and, and uh, American Indian culture that <clears throat> we're going to share a turkey story this morning about the first fire. The old ones tell us that long ago, when the world was young, that it was really cold, and the animals called a council together because there had been a great lightning storm, and the lightning had struck a hollow tree on the island out off the shore, and the tree had caught fire, and a lot of fire and smoke were billowing, billowing, billowing out of the tree that way, you know. And so the animals came together and said, hey, let's get some fire and keep us warm. And so Raven, who was pure white back in those days, white as, as you can imagine, said, I will go, I will do this. The raven took off, Kaga took off and flew across the water to the hollow and circled and got ready to land and the smoke and the heat were so much that it turned raven jet black. And to this day, that is why raven's feathers and body are black. And so raven had to come home without the fire. Then Screech Owl, Wahoo, decided to go. And so Wahoo took off across the water and flew in low, right above the hollow, and landed on the edge of the hollow and stuck his head right over to look down in there and a blast of fire and heat hit him right in the face and blinded him for a little while. It made his eyes turn bright red. And so he had to fly back. And today that's why the screech owl has red eyes. Well, not to be dismayed, Hootie Now, Hoogoo, and Horned Owl, Skeely, headed out, flying across the water go and get the fire together as a team. But the ashes from the smoke landed in the face while they were flying and caused white rings to form around their eyes and blinded them a little bit and so they had to come back. And to this day that is why they both have white rings around their eyes. And again, the black racer snake, Uksuhi, decided to go. And Uksuhi swam across the water, going over to the island, got to the hollow, crawled through a little hole there. But the coals and the ashes were so hot that Uksuhi had to jump around and dash back and forth, trying to escape. And finally, was able to find the hole that he went through. He got back out. And to this day, that is why the black racer snake jumps around back and forward as they go. Well, then came the big snake. The black snake, the league who's known as the climber because he climbs around the tree trunks up into the trees and drops down on people or animals or whatever. Well, the so black snake got up there and climbed around that stump of a hollowed out tree and then fell in. The black snake wasn't black then, but as soon as it fell in and hit the bottom, the coals and the ashes turned to jet black. And finally, climbed back out and got back home across the water. And to this day, that is why the black snake is now black.
Well, by this time, the animals, they were really dismayed. And they were freezing cold. They couldn't figure out how they could possibly get any fire. So they called another council meeting and they were despondent, you know. What are we going to do, they said. How are we going to be able to get warm, they said. And so finally, Kanaski Amiehi, the water spider, said, I will go. Now this particular water spider is not to be confused with the other one. It looks like a fiddle. This particular water spider is the one with the black hair and the white stripes on the body. Well, she made a jutsi bowl, wove it out of her webbing, and attached it to her back. And she walked across that water all the way over to that island. Climbed into the hollow, grabbed the hot coal and put it in the jutsi bowl, and then ran back all the way across that water and brought the an animals a hot coal. And they used it to build the first fire. 